Hello, hello. I thought I would finally show you all of the goodies that I got last month at the Pittsburgh Knit and Crochet Festival. The first thing actually is something that I already showed in a separate video, so if you're interested, you can just watch the other video. It's the Knitter's Pride Carbons. They're awesome new knitting needles. I got five balls of the Kid Seda yarn from Cascade. And that's 70% uh, super kid mohair and 30% silk. I actually have tons of this stuff already in my stash, but I've never used it. I don't know why I got more. I just did because it was just a really pretty purple color. See? Very pretty. I couldn't resist. Yarn from Brooks Farm Yarn. They're from Texas. See? Uh, this yarn that I got here... I got two hanks of this stuff. This is super, super, super soft and smushy. This is a, a DK weight yarn. It's 50-50 fine wool Surrey alpaca. Um, I think I'm gonna do a shawl with this, I'm not sure. But it's really I pretty. I got some yarn from Knitting Notions. They are from Nashville, Tennessee. And I got uh, six hanks of yarn. I got three of this one here, which is a really uh, pretty orangey autumn colored yarn. This is a classic Merino Superwash Sport. This is probably destined to be a shawl as well. And then I got three hanks of this color here. This yarn is actually a classic merino bamboo yarn. It's 65% superwash merino wool and 35% rayon of bamboo. Also very nice and, and soft then I got a and bunch squishy. of yarn from Space Cadet Creations. I got three hanks of this one here. This is a single ply worsted weight yarn. It's 100% superwash merino and it's uh, really soft and smishy. <laughs> this color is called uh, Gentle and it's like a peachy color. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. But I'm normally not a peach person but this yarn was or it is really really pretty so I got three hanks of this. And then I got, in the same colorway, I got a hank of this one here. This is a fingering weight yarn. It's a 100% superwash merino. And then I got one hank of this in the same colorway. This is a fingering weight yarn with sparkles. I don't know if you can see the sparkles or not. Yeah, you can kind of see them. So all in the same colorway. I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to do with them. Scarf, shawl, something. And then I got, I don't remember all of the vendors that I purchased from. I tried to get cards from everybody, but sometimes uh, there were just so many people in line I wanted to go away really fast. I got a ball of this stuff. This is a Juniper Moon Farm. It's called Findlay Dappled. And this is a 50% merino wool, 50% silk. This is really soft and squishy. So I think I will probably do something like a shawl in this too. I like shawls, can you tell? Then I got a hank of this stuff. This is from Unplanned Peacock Studio. This is uh, called Whisper Lace. It's alpaca, silk, and cashmere. And I just got this because of the color. It's purple. Well, it's called lilac, but it's purple. A little bit of dark purple, some light purple, some white in there. Really nice. It's so soft. Really, really super soft. And then I got from Holiday Yarns. 
This is called Flock Sock Sock Yarn. It's 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. And I can tell you that I will not be knitting socks with it. It's too nice to knit socks with. And then I always get second sockitis where I never want to finish the second sock. So it would kind of be like a total waste. So this is probably destined to be a shawl too. Or a nice scarf maybe, I don't know. And also from Holiday Yarns, I got this stuff. This is Imperial, a DK yarn. It's 70% kid mohair and 30% silk. Um, one of those, I think it was probably this one, the Finley Dappled, I got from the Cultured Pearl. I know that because I got a little tattoo from the woman. <laughs> from Fiesta La Boheme. I got two hanks of this. This color is called Plum Pudding, really pretty. It's pink and purple and plummy. And this is a 50% rayon, 32% brushed kid mohair, 14% wool, and 4% nylon. So I actually got uh, some of this yarn either last year or the year before at the festival and I started using it and I really liked it but then what I was making was a shawl and I ended up not having enough for the stitch pattern that I was using so I ripped that out and it's sitting somewhere in my stash I don't know but so and I was I lucky enough to find four hanks of this you can see this is from Lorna's Laces it is the Shepherd Worsted, which is 100% superwash wool. I was able to find four hanks of this color called J Pond. And I got uh, this stuff that I don't know how to pronounce the name of, so I'll just show you. There you go. I don't know if you can see the color very well. This is a 100% merino, and this is a really nice yarn. I have some of this in silk actually and that's why I got this not realizing that it was merino I was looking for the silk but this is still really pretty and I'm glad that I got it because uh, the vendor that I bought it from gave me a free shawl pattern. So I don't know if I will use the yarn for that or not. Probably not. And I also got a couple of other things. I can't remember exactly what but one of them was one of those little magnetic boards that you can put your pattern on and then it has the magnet strips so you can um, keep track of your pattern as you're knitting that was from a vendor who was selling some knit picks items and I have misplaced Mommy, that the bee? otherwise I would show you um, but I think that's everything that I got unless I've misplaced something which is very possible so those are all my goodies from the Knitting and Crochet Festival. If you ever have a chance to go to a Knitting and Crochet Festival, I recommend that you go because there's tons of yarn, lots of cool stuff, and you can often get deals that you are not able to get in the brick and mortar stores of the vendors and things like that. So um, that's all my stuff. So happy knitting!